Has some um, owner oh, mind that will come up in business. Room. My apologies, I was getting things set up. Please assume. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, orders on this. Plan B, help you consider adopting the minutes of this planning meeting held on November 14, 2020. Second. Discussion? Just had a quick question, Martin, if I may. Mm -hmm. That was a, a named camera meeting. Uh, yes, but we started the meeting, the, the meeting uh, as regular and then moved to in camera, so that's all we're doing here. Okay, I understand. Thank you. Any further discussion? All in favor? Carry. The delegation uh, so no business. This is rising from the minutes. I just have one question, if I may. Um, CAO Dalton, have we taken any steps to ensure Councillor Coomber has been officially named to the Landfill Advisory Committee because she feels she doesn't have status? And I believe we're, we, we have one council member that is considered part of that. I have, I sent an email to say that Councillor Coomber was council's representative on that committee. So she should be on their list, but I will follow up okay. if she's not getting emails or uh, meeting notices or that kind of thing. It's just her voice is important and if she's not recognized. Absolutely. Nice, yeah. I, I, I don't think there was a good of organization in the last meeting because as I stated, there was only two community members there. Uh, no one yeah. Councilor Coomber. Um, regarding your um, status report, um, page 11, the asset management collaboration. It yes. says uh, this will be done once we have received grant approval. This was four months ago. Are we still waiting for that? Yes. Oh. This is through FDM. Federal grants generally take a long time, minimum six months. Oh, okay. Uh, I believe uh, CFO Martini can expand on it a little bit, though. Yeah, I received the status uh, notification last week that we are about two batches away from being processed, which mm -hmm. means that uh, each batch is probably two weeks. So I would say in about a month, we'll probably hear something from them. Okay. Also, Peter. And to give the CA report to you, I just have a question on um, pitfalls on page 11 under number one. Status pending the feasibility study is needed prior to applying. Oh, sorry, which number one? Under September 14th, sorry. Uh, September 14th, no. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, what are the next steps? And is there grant? Is there funding available that we can apply for to have the feasibility to study to see what it is that we actually need? Uh, again, I believe uh, CFO Martini is the better one to answer that question. Uh, well, we sent out the RFPs and we had a few uh, replies, but then we had to apply for a grant. However, the timing was, uh, the, the notice that we received for a grant didn't give us enough time to apply for that grant. So we are going to probably look at the later time. Okay. We literally had only like three weeks from the grant has been announced to submitted so it wasn't enough time. Any other question I have will probably be dealt with with the additional item on our agenda. So that's it for me. Any further? Do we have an update on um, the June 8th, page 11, uh, 2020 flood response costs? I'm still waiting for the processing of the wages and I think there was just one other bill that was in that last claim that needs to be processed. Mm -hmm. So probably tomorrow after tomorrow I can uh, give them a shot to find out where we can. 
Uh, October 26th, page 12, for the fire department breathing apparatus, um, uh, the equipment has been ordered. Do we have a price on that yet? We have. That was the post. Yeah, that was the post on the front post on that agenda. Okay, so on the agenda, it just showed for two, uh, as two items. As two. Yeah, because it needs to be two. two. So, when we ordered, we actually ordered four and eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And 15, four, four and eight fit in 2021. So what I'm looking at is the cost of the four units with eight air tanks and the 15 masks, I'm assuming it would have been on this order. It would be double what the it was two was. Yeah. It would be double. No, I don't have the bill. Okay. It's just a simple matter of adding it up. We can do that and send you an email if you need to know the number. We just confirm that. Okay, that's it. The other one is in the additional item. For the third time, any further committee reports, economic development, Councillor Peterson, Councillor We need to make a motion. On the uh, on the that we've given file the minister offers the part. Second. Discussion. All in favor. Carried. Thank you. Committee reports, economic development. Councilor Peters and Councilor Cooney. I have nothing to do with that. Thank you. <laughs> Budget and administrative services, Councilor Peters and Councilor Cooney. Mm -hmm. I would move that council direct staff to move forward with setting up quarterly billing for utilities. Okay. Discussion. Councilor Pitt. Have we um, come to any idea on the discount, how that would be applied during the quarterly billing? It's going to be the same treatment as for annual billing. Okay. It's no different. Than the annual billing, it's just a process. Okay, so so if they're eligible for a ten percent discount, each bill would have a ten percent discount on it. Okay. Further discussion. All in favor. Carried. Uh. If I may, on this next item, if you'll notice the, the bold line just immediately under the, the heading, uh, this schedule is following the proposed uh, procedure bylaw. So until we actually adopt that procedure bylaw, we should not be adopting this schedule. But just the way our agendas are laid out, it was put in there rather than after the procedure bylaw. So when we're, if the procedure by that bylaw gets adopted, then we'll have to go back to this one. Right. I move the recommendation. I move back to no. it after we do the After, 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 the, after one. the procedure bylaw is adopted, then we go back to it. Okay. It's just out of order. It's on yeah. the next uh, page. On that. Okay. Great. We're going to buy number three. Okay, Christmas lunch office schedule. I move the council approve the closure of the office on December 17th from 9:45 a.m. to 1 p.m. so that staff may attend the Christmas lunch and start with Ken. Say to me. Discussion. No, keep that in. Um, my only concern with this moving forward is after the new order, how does this look for that lunch end? Because this is technically somebody getting together to meet. It's um, after December 7th, and my feeling is that it would be reassessed if the orders are extended. Oh. That's kind of what I... Could we do a friendly yeah. minute to put that into the motion then? Yeah. Certainly, we, uh, that would be uh, subject to uh, health orders, something like that. Mm -hmm. Potential health orders. 
uh, although I have to, I, I just want to point out to council that when we do have these meetings, they're held in the basement of the community hall and everybody is space six feet apart. It doesn't matter under the new order. I know, I know. So, I'm just pointing it out. Yeah. <laughs> Further discussion? All in favor? Carried. All of the team bylaw review, myself and Councilor Teeter. Let the village Cat Creek adopt procedure bylaw 818 2020. <laughs> Yes, I did. Oh, yes, I see. Second. Discussion? Councilor Pittman. Uh, 3A is still missing the uh, post office notification places. Oh, uh, this is an old version. I made the change and didn't print it out. My apologies. Uh, friendly amendment can, to as we as can still include that in the resolution to adopt. So, as amended to add post office. To section three. three. Further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Councilor Pittman opposed. And yes, now we can do uh, B2. The council approved in 2021, council meeting schedule was presented. Second. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Motion. Any discussion? I like leaving them in because we know that we have a lot of bylaws and policies to be revised, and even if we designated those committee level meetings for those discussions, that I think they're of value. Further? All in favor? Carried. Zoning amendment. The staff be directed to amend bylaw 423 and zoning to provide the definition of current and accessory building. Second. Thank you. Uh, the reason this is on is that uh, the Permitted accessory building is has no definition in our bylaw, so it leaves it very open to interpretation. We would like to amend that uh, and the, the definition section so that that's more clear. Uh, right now, because of the definition of a uh, home-based business, uh, it says in the definition that it has to be located within the residence. Uh, when you get to that section of the actual bylaw outside the, the definitions, it includes or permitted accessory building. But then you look back in the definitions and there is no such definition for a permitted accessory building. Uh, I mean, uh, and a, a garden shed is a permitted accessory building. That's not uh, what, where you want to run a home-based business out of. At the same time, uh, if you have a garage which is part of your house and you want to do some uh, some building or crafting in that garage then you're okay but if your garage happens to be detached then technically you're not okay according to the definition so i just want to clean it up this would then come back to council anyway yes but i wanted to make sure the council was on site before i went through the, the process of uh, doing that change and then I would bring that along with the other changes regarding uh, uh, residential uh, uh, additional residences in commercial zones, 
and the uh, secondary suites in our one zone. And I would bring that all back to council at the same time. Is, is that part of this bylaw 423 then? What you just said? The, yeah. Right now, uh, if you're talking about the uh, secondary suites, yeah. and that, that right now, secondary suites are not allowed mm -hmm. under the terms of our zoning bylaw, nor are uh, suites allowed in the uh, uh, C1 uh, general and highway commercial zone, unless it's for a manager's suite. And yet in our official community plan, both of those are encouraged that they want in the official community plan, they want to see those types of developments happen. So uh, the official community plan was adopted, I believe, in 2013. Uh, that zoning bylaw was adopted in 1983. Any further discussion? All in favor? Carried. What were some community facilities myself and come up here before? I guess I would have to declare a conflict to me. No, I would just like to ask um, why this is on our agenda because we passed a policy last year that allowed for one for use of any nonprofit group. My question too, it doesn't need a resolution. Uh, I asked that question and was told that they were saving their free use for a different item. But I guess they can bring that other item to council instead if council just says, no, let's use the uh, free use here. It's one of the things that we. All right. Staff will, uh, will uh, just give them that uh, for use of their annual for use. I mean, they're either going to ask for this for use or they're going to ask for the next for use. Well, the next would be the for use then. Yeah, for the yeah, next one, yeah. if they want another one later on in the year, then they would have to bring that one to council. Yeah, but now the problem is, and the issue is, what is the cost of that? What is the fee? A hundred bucks? Is that the cost? I of that don't remember off the top of my head what yeah. the fee is. Two hundred, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's plus, plus, the, plus this might yeah, range. Even when it does come up, but it's not to do with the financial benefit of any individual member of the department, and so I don't. Okay, so we've dealt with this issue. Yeah. We're going to give them the free one. Thank you. So, services will be able to come through the whole time. I don't have anything. I have a couple of reports. To Thank you. The uh, Health and Wellness Action Committee met on uh, November 16th, 13 years ago. And uh, Interior Health uh, reported that Ashcroft Hospital is moving to point of origin lab testing on overnights and weekends. And they will be administered by an LPN instead of the uh, instead of a lab test. The uh, committee is concerned that this will mean a reduction in the variety of lab tests performed at the hospital, and they've asked for more information from Interior Health. And I uh, met with Patrick Branch, uh, board members on November 18th, again virtually. The AGM is scheduled for December 16th and will be conducted online. And the board has struck a reconciliation committee and is working with the Boulevard Indian Band to improve uh, uh, personal and working relationships, which is great to hear. And at our next meeting, we'll be talking about uh, next year at the ranch. And if COVID protocols, uh, protocols are still in place, will we open and how will that look? So I think we've had a, a year to consider how we can do it. And my opinion is that we, uh, we need to move on and, and uh, let people back in at the ranch. But we'll see what the rest of the board thinks. And those are my reports. Thank you for those two reports. Anything further under for any questions?
None. Any further on your other services and liaison? Protective services, myself and Pastor Ford. The uh Thompson Ford Advisory Committee is a uh, uh, Fraser Basin Council committee and actually that invitation came directly to me and I asked CAO Dawson about it and he said it should go to council for a decision. So um I would agree to sit on that committee if council wishes or if the alternative desires. I would move that Pastor Kinder be our representative on that committee given her uh, previous um, experience and relationships okay. with those groups. Discussion? All in favor? And uh, <laughs> And uh, last week, I think it was, um, Councillor Peters, myself, um, CAO Dalton, sat in on the EMBC hazard and uh, our EOC deputy director, Alana Peters, sat in on the three morning EMBC hazard preparedness workshop, which last year was one day in Kamloops, but Everything is, is changed this year. Um, changes to the Emergency Management Act have been on hold because of COVID and the election. They expect to see a new cabinet by the end of November, I believe it is, and they will continue the process. River Forecast Center let us know that uh, this year they registered the third highest flow for the Thompson in 70 years of monitoring. Uh, I think we all agree that there were not enough river monitors for the smaller rivers like Bonaparte and Nicola, and uh, certainly not enough snowpack monitors. We got some uh, great tips for new mobile weather apps, which may help a little bit, but predictions are to expect more of the same uh, wet, uh, saturated, flooding weather for next spring, unfortunately. Well, one other thing that I picked up on is that they're uh, anticipating heavier than normal snowfall this year. Uh, we're already well ahead of normal. Uh, there's also uh, a 50-50 possibility of an extended winter, which means uh, late spring. Normally, late springs arrive with uh, warmer temperatures over a very short period of time. Uh, so if that happens, uh, we could have more flooding than normal. You know, the other thing I got that would affect the ESS is there's now a, a there are supplier portal that they're uh, working on to help get the suppliers taken care of in a more timely manner. Thank you. Any further? Did you vote on the recommendation? I believe we did. Wendy's are the representative to the Thompson Flood. I agree, committed. Yes. Intergovernmental relations, myself and Councillor Coomer. And that approved my signing of a letter to Premier John Horton regarding the Resource Works Society. Would you like to? Yeah. I will move that. Thank you. My, I just have a fundamental um, disagreement with the, the first half of that letter and all of the wonderful work that the NDP have done for our area, the forest sector was able to take advantage of soaring lumber prices. All we've seen in our area is closures. We have not seen any benefit. Um, I agree with the, the general idea of the letter, but I really don't like the, uh, I can't say what I think in <laughs> the first part of it on record. So I'll just leave it at that. But if it's council feel, I will support it. Well, that's why it's on the agenda. Mm -hmm. I could easily sign it and ship it off yeah. when I got the email. But if council has uh, concerns with um, uh, signing a letter with other leaders in, in the province, then uh, um, maybe we should. 
I'm only one vote, so I think well, it's, it's, well, it's a discussion, and that's why it's on the floor. I, I agree with uh, Steve Peters, uh, or Councilor Peters, uh, information that she provided. It is true there's been a lot of legislation to our area. In our particular area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd like to say, I, I agree with the second, it's only the first, what, one, two, three paragraphs I have issue with. The rest of the letter I have no problem with, but and, and support that part of it. It's just the the, the praise I don't feel for our area is warranted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so should I maybe just write the three first paragraphs <laughs> 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 so uh, over the next mm -hmm. and send it that way. <laughs> we could do that too. Receive the file. Well, there's already a motion on the floor. Good sign. If you feel strongly, I'll just say that. I, I, I don't. That's why it's here. <laughs> if uh, I would be willing to uh, propose a friendly amendment that we edit the letter for our particular purpose to take away um, the first two paragraphs and just mm -hmm. start, mm -hmm. just do with the um, the requests for moving forward? Uh, just not sure about uh, the first paragraph on uh, that's just a generic oh, okay. opening kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, so then that just the, the next two paragraphs. Next paragraph, yeah. Yeah. Three. As amended, all in favor. <laughs> Thank you. Carried. Thank you. Won't stop firm request for resolution. A little bit we receive in file. Second. All in favor? Non fill advisory committee. It's all for council approval. We did have a meeting in the. No meeting, no report. Um, I just want to make one comment that the the virtual meetings that we've been having are the landfill monitoring committee. Which is a little different from the advisory committee. Um, uh, I'm not quite sure if they have an advisory committee set up in this operating certificate. I would have to check that. Yeah, I'm pretty up there sure that there yeah. is, but I don't know that for an absolute fact. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, landfill advisory or landfill monitoring, they have nothing to report. Oh, uh, sorry, I thought you were talking about the existing uh, committee. Uh, this uh, council committee is will be separate from that. It, 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 that is not required under our operating certificate. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think we'll see some, some better communication between EESE and the Village of Cash Creek and the, the two committees which are normally held, uh, Landfill Advisory Committee and the uh, uh, Monitoring Committee. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll probably see a, a better avenue of communication in the near future. Information correspondent? No? We never get so bad. We have, <laughs> we have a, an additional item on the agenda. That we've done on the separate right. Right. Thank you. Uh, Budget Administrative Services, uh, Councillor Peters and Councillor Cooper. Uh, I move that Council support the application for funding of their UBCM's Community Emergency Preparedness Fund grant application, structural flood mitigation, Cash Creek Sanitary Sewer System Flood Resiliency Project, and agree to provide overall grant management. Second. That was a multiple. Discussion. <laughs> um, so, you know, when we uh, were meeting with True, I think this came out of that meeting with True about a month ago. So yes, it was one of several potential projects that we discussed. I thought that we had uh, moving the well in the park on our second number two priority. Uh, we've already got that. Uh, that yes, you're right. That was a, a consideration. Uh, but there's another grant that we can apply for to do that one. Okay. Uh, to underground and put in a lift station for that sewer line. This really is the only one that uh, 
there are other grants out there, but this is one that uh, we need to find uh, something for right away. Uh, and it definitely is something that's needed. Could we have done the well six move? Yes. Uh, Dave wasn't sure that it would be approved though. Okay. If it, helps, if it helps, so I'm sure they have also have photos, but and Shane and Steve probably have photos, but I have photos of how high the water was in relationship to the line taken from the bridge. Um, if they would like them to back up any questions that they have on that, nope. that line. Um, also, I would like to make sure that we don't let that sewer pipe. Uh, outfall pipe in at the sewer treatment plant go by the wayside because we will have issues again in the spring. Mm -hmm. Just let me finish and I'll respond to that. Maybe what I'll do, uh, Martin, when I get home, I'll just email them to you. Sorry, email me the photographs? Those photos. Okay, good. Uh, and then you're talking about the outfall? Yeah, uh, we need yeah. to make sure it stays on the radar. Oh, it definitely will. Definitely will. Yeah. We, we know it's a major issue. Uh, for our recovery funding for this year only, and we know it's a stop cap, we can at least uh, expose the, uh, the sewer outfall pipe, uh, send the yeah. camera up there because there's some indication that there's a blockage in that line. So we want to find that out, where that blockage is, because that'll determine where we would tie in to put in a, a new uh, line. Uh, there's some thought also from uh, True that uh, because regulations change, uh, we may have to adjust our uh, dilution, uh, which means the size of the pipe, the number of pipes, uh, whether we have, I'm not enough of an engineer to describe it, but he says there's additional work that will need to be done prior to submitting a grant for that particular project. Um. Oh, did he suggest where the lift might uh, be located? Uh, no, he did not. I'm not sure. I believe it would be in the area of the Sunflower Pass, but I don't know that for a fact. We can ask because we have a meeting with him on December 3rd. Yes. So the, the lift, the proposed lift station. Yeah. That was True's recommendation. Yes. To put a lift station. Uh, we discussed a siphon feed uh, at the lift station, and after we talked it over, my own feeling is that a lift station would be a better option than a, a siphon feed. <clears throat> Supporting the pipe and armoring that pipe would, in my opinion, I think we should investigate that further with truth. We discussed that with them as well. And we should avoid the lift station at all costs. Cost. Cost. Ongoing expense. Huge. If we can armor the banks of that and spend the extra money now, we would save money perpetually every year after. So a lift station is, is something that um, I won't support. Fair enough. The grant has already been submitted. Friday was the deadline. Mm -hmm. uh, but if new information comes to light and we decide that we uh, want to change the nature of the project, uh, UBCM seems to be fairly flexible on that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's worth a discussion. It's a considerable saving for years and years to come. <clears throat> okay. Uh, voting on this with the change to, to look at uh, armoring the particular pipe instead of the lift station. Um, Is we, that, uh, okay. We. Yes, I'm not sure. I would recommend against doing that, only because the grant application has already been submitted for this project. Mm -hmm. uh, they need a resolution of council to support that grant application. Mm -hmm. uh, if we change the, the project now, we would have to resubmit, and then we do yeah, start on this year's yeah. funding all together. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I, my my own thinking is that 
we proceed as is uh, and then amend the project down the road. Fair enough. Based on that criteria, uh, any further discussion? All in favor? Carried. Information correspondence? None? New business? Questions from the public? Questions from the press? Can we move into a closed session? Uh, second. All in favor? Carried.